Hello guys, uh, I am Yogesh Kedkar, uh, VP Technology at Vyom Labs. Vyom Labs is a complete IT service management solutions company. Now, uh, we are having four sessions uh, next week at uh, Worldwide Remedy User Group Conference, uh, which will be held in San Jose. Now, the idea of this uh, short session is I am going to give a brief overview of all the four sessions which we are having there next week. So I am doing, uh, I am presenting two sessions. The first one is performance testing of uh, ARS. Now the performance testing is not often done by companies just because of the costs involved in using commercial performance testing tools. With an open source performance testing tool JMeter, that should no longer be a concern. Now in this session, uh, we are going to talk about uh, the methodology of doing performance testing of ARS. Then we'll also discuss uh, how performance testing can be done using a commercial tool called Silk Performer. And then most importantly, how it can be done using an open source tool uh, called JMeter. What we have done is we have modified the uh, source code of JMeter to be able to make the test scripts generated by uh, JMeter parameterizable. And with this now, uh, J, uh, with this, uh, JMeter pretty much can be used for performance testing of ARS. So that was the first topic, performance testing of ARS. The second topic which I am going to talk about next week is uh, single sign-on for BMC Remedy uh, mid-tier. Now in this session, uh, we are going to discuss in detail how SSO is implemented for mid-tier. And uh, we are also going to walk you through the source code of writing a custom area plugin and then on the mid-tier side how you override a default uh, authenticator in order to achieve single sign-on. And in the end, we are also going to cover uh, SAML protocol and how SSO has been simplified with uh, the advent of AR and Atrium SSO 8.0. The third session we are having there next week is uh, leveraging BMC Remedy ITSM investments using enterprise architecture principles and service oriented architecture. Now this session will be done by Mr. Sukumar Daniel who is uh, VP of ITSM Transformation Practice at Vume Labs. Now this is what you can expect from this session. Now the current economic scenario is putting a lot of pressure on IT to transform from an operational asset to become a potent partner who is tactical and strategic asset to the business. Now doing this requires uh, more than just implementing a tool. Uh, the initiative has to be treated as an organizational change and not just a product implementation project. It is just not sufficient if we implement BMC tools, for example, but we need to run iterative interventions in all four dimensions, namely people, processes, tools, and partnerships. The session, uh, in this session, we are going to tell you a success story of transformation initiative, uh, what they really mean, and how can you run an initiative where everyone agrees that uh, things are better than they used to be once these initiatives are in place and how Remedy can play a huge role in leveraging investments in service management software. Now, the last session which we are going to have in RUG is uh, business service reporting for BMC Remedy and this session will be done by Mr. Uday Birajdal who is the founding director uh, of Yum Labs. So, in this session, we are going to briefly cover following aspects. Uh, what exactly is business service reporting, especially in the context of uh, BMC Remedy? Um, how to configure BMC Remedy for business service reporting? Uh, how you can achieve trans both transactional as well as uh, transformational metrics using uh, uh, BMC Remedy? And how technologies like ETL and Data Warehouse uh, will help for analytics and uh, dashboards. That's it. Thanks a lot.